Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan Mexico Inshore Fishing Television. Yucatan Anglers TV is brought to you by Progresso Fishing Tours. Find us at yucatansnook.com. DOA Fishing Lures, Eagle Claw Trocar Hooks, Yozerti Fish the Best, and yucatansenote.com. Oh, yeah. Live the adventure. Coming up in this episode, we are having a battle. Fly fishing versus spin cast for tarpon in Progreso, Yucatan, Mexico. Progreso sits at the top of the Yucatan and is a major port city, as well a major fishing hub. Hey folks, welcome to Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico inshore fishing television. Folks, we're here at our base of operations here in Progreso, Mexico at the Suzuki Rojano Marina. And I'm with my good friend, Alvaro Abreu. Alvaro is an expert fly fisherman. I'm a great spin cast fisherman. And we're gonna take you on a battle this morning here in the marina area, here in the Progreso area. We're gonna go target some snook and some tarpon. And we're gonna see if fly fishing over spin cast can win the battle. So folks, stay tuned. Alvaro, are you ready for this? Let's do it, my friend. Okay, we're gonna go fishing. Y'all stay tuned, we'll be right back. Well, folks, we're here in the marina area of Progresso. We fish here quite often because this is our base of operations, so we come out here quite a bit. And in this little shallow four foot of water in this little bay here is uh, really, really awesome for the tarpon. There's lots and lots of tarpon that just lay into here. We have a couple other spots we're gonna try this morning as well, but Alvaro and myself, we're gonna give it our best shot to see if we can, uh, we can get a big one on. Y'all stay tuned. a lot of turf and rolling here in this area so we're we're targeting them this way fish on I think it's a fish Oh yeah, it is. Speckled sea trout. Are you serious? <laughs> We're fishing for tarp and I just got me a nice little speckled sea trout. <laughs> All right. Gary will put this in the net and we'll let this one go. Well, fish on, but not a tarpon, but that is a speckled sea trout, which we normally catch back in the Rio. I'm throwing this new uh, soft plastic from DOA and second cast. Got a hook up, so maybe the tarpon will like this just as well. All right, plug the sea trout. Woohoo! So, just had a, a gnarly hook up about a little 20 pounder on this new DOA jig that we're throwing. That'll get your blood running first thing in the morning, let me tell you, folks. Getting that little hook up, it'll get you shaking. But just didn't quite stick them hard enough, but. That's one hookup on the spin. Alvaro's still throwing that green jig at him on the fly. We got one. Alvaro's on. Alvaro's on. Alvaro's on. Alvaro is on. All right. All right. It looks like Alvaro's got him a good one. All right. Fly fishing right here in Progreso, Mexico, folks. This is rocking. This is rocking. Hold on to him, Alvaro. Yes. Yes.
All right, well, that's one to one. You got a longer fight, brother. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Now, you know what I mean by shaking in the morning, don't you? <laughs> Woo, that was rocking. Folks, you don't want to go away. More action is coming on Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan Anglers TV, Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. This segment is brought to you by Progresso Fishing Tours at yucatansnook.com and DOA Fishing Lures. That was really, really cool. That was really cool. First time fly fishing with somebody in the boat that is hooked up to tarpon. So one of the benefits to spin cast over fly fishing, in my defense, is I can make multiple, multiple casts compared to the one cast uh, of the fly fishing. Plus I can get out a little bit further to cover a bit more water. But with the fly, Alvaro can stick that fish and hold on to him a lot longer. As you've seen, well, you didn't get to see mine because we didn't have the camera on, but with my hookup first, I got one jump and about probably three or four seconds. Alvaro had a good 15, 20 seconds on there with three or four jumps with the fly. So in my book, officially, Alvaro's leading the battle. That was an attack. Oh man, he attacked it. He attacked it hard. Oh, mercy sakes. Ooh, right there, right there. Dog got it. Oh, there was one right here too. I think he was chasing my lure. I was racing it. I got him, I did! I got him! I got him! Oh, I got this big ass fish! Oh! I can't believe that fish was swimming right for me. I dropped this DOA lure right in front of him. Not even a cast. Oh my god, and I said, I said it! If he hits this thing, that would blow me away. Look at the size of this girl. Okay. Cuidado su lancha, cuidado atrás, atrás. Folks, don't go away, because this fight will continue on Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. I would guess this probably a 50 pounder. Holy moly. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is a big girl. Oh, I got her on this light action. Light action Okuma this is a medium heavy, seven foot spin cast rod. My size 30 Epixa reel. Oh, please stay on, baby. Come on. Oh, Alvaro, I think I'm gonna get you on this one, my friend. This brand new DOA lure so far has performed this morning like, can't believe, here she comes, here she comes, she's gonna jump. Nope. Folks, once again, we're here in Progreso, Mexico. Yucatan Anglers TV at its finest. About a 50 pound tarpon on. I'll tell you what, folks, fishing here in the Progreso, Mexico area, here in the Yucatan in general is just phenomenal. It is a blast. This fish is strong. Oh, this fish is strong. Uh, oh, 
I got her stuck pretty good. I don't think she's gonna get off. She's gonna rip my life. Whew. Guys, this is awesome. I tell you what, wherever you are in the world watching this, if you're not here in the Yucatan of Mexico, you need to be down here. times like that she might be ready. <laughs> Right on. Awesome fish. 61 pounds on this little DOA jig. Dropped her right in front of her nose. Couldn't believe it when I called it. I said, please hit it. She hit that thing, and this is what we pulled up. Abaro? Thank you, my friend. Yes, thank you very okay. much. All right, let's let her back go. Get her all happy. Awesome. Well, folks, welcome back to Yucatan Anglers TV. It's day two, and uh, well, I think you can see I won yesterday with the spin cast with that big old tarpon. Although you had a really good hookup on that fly, that was really, really cool to see. Well, we've made our way back into the Rio here. We're, we're still here in Progreso, Mexico, in the Yucatan, and we're back here in the Rio. Uh, this area is really known for speckled sea trout, but we get a lot of tarpon back in here, in here as well. Uh, little sabalitos, little 10, 15 to 30 pounders. We're gonna give it our best shot. We're gonna see if spin cast can beat the fly cast or if fly cast beats the spin cast today. You ready for it, Alvaro? Let's do it. All right, brother. It's my day. It's your day. <laughs> right on. Fish. Oh. Fish. Abro's got him a nice little sabalito going here. Looks like a bit little five, six, seven, eight pounder. Keep him up. Keep him up. There he is. Good job. Good job. Yes. Well, right on. So far, Alvaro's one in the day. He got him a nice one here on the fly. Beautiful little sabalito, a little baby tarpon. I'd guess this fish to be about probably six, seven pounds. Yeah? Yeah, maybe. Right on. 
All right. I got my work cut out for me today. Way to go, Alvaro. Good job. Thank Let's you. let her go. Y'all stay tuned. We're not done yet. More action is coming your way on Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan Anglers TV. Yucatan, Mexico, inshore fishing television. The number one inshore fishing guide service in Yucatan is yucatansnook.com. We cater to families, cruise ship guests, and the avid sportsmen. Safe, calm, shallow inshore fishing at its best. We'll look forward to taking you fishing. Find us at yucatansnook.com. You know, just one of the, the coolest things about fishing here in our backyard. I mean, this is literally our backyard. Our house is just right over here on the barrier island. But it's the serenity, the peacefulness, the quietness. I love hearing the, the line casting, uh, just all the bird life that's up in here. Really, really beautiful. All right, just ran through a big school of them. I threw this little terrorized. There must have been 20 fish in that school. And uh, oh, I got him. I got him. I got him. This one's a little bigger. Yes. Alvaro's gonna run over here and help me. We'll get this little girl in the net. Good shot. Good shot. What a one. <laughs> Very good, yep. All right. Yeah, she feels like she's probably about 10 pounds. Yeah, nice little fish. Well, folks, thanks for joining us here on Yucatan Anglers TV. These last two days have really been a blast, fishing for the tarpon with my good friend, Alvaro. Alvaro, did you have a good time? Yes, I really appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you fishing with us. You got accurate, accurate fly casting. You're an excellent saltwater fly fisherman, and it showed it. You caught that tarpon up against those mangroves today. You pulled them out of there. Yesterday, out in the marina area, you had that nice hookup. But uh, we'll call today a tie. I definitely won yesterday with that 61 pounder. So y'all gonna wanna stay tuned really to Yucatan good. Anglers TV. Folks, thanks for fishing with us today. We hope you enjoyed yourselves. Y'all stay tuned. We're gonna do a little tech talk coming up and then we're gonna cook up some speckled sea trout. We're not gonna cook it. We're gonna make it as ceviche for the fresh catch of the day. Y'all stay tuned. Okay, uh, this day I using a uh, reel and rod uh, number 12. The fly line is a 12-2, it's a sinking line. Uh, this fly is for my, my friend uh, Fito Avila. A, the hook is a Gamagatsu number four. So this morning on my spin cast rig, uh, I got a nice shipment of brand new lures in from DOA and uh, we really thank them a lot for it. But this is one of their new soft plastics. It's got a, a weighted worm hook, good sharp trocar hook. I've got it tied up to a 40 pound leader to my barrel swivel to my 30 pound braided line. And so far this morning it's, it's had that one tarpon hook up, it had another bump and it caught that speckled sea trout. Well, folks, we're getting ready here to prepare ceviche out on the Ria. We're here inside the, the mangroves on this little dock, and we wanted to show you how you can prepare ceviche with a few fresh fillets. We were fortunate to catch a couple of sea trout this morning, right off the bat. So we also need to have cilantro, some mild peppers. They don't have to be real hot. These banana peppers are very mild. Some tomatoes, an onion, and of course, what cooks the fish for us is the lime juice. So Gary now is gonna prepare the fish by cutting them into little pieces, tiny little pieces, 
and then we'll cut up all of the vegetables. We'll get those into tiny little pieces. We'll put them into the little cubeta that I brought, the little bucket that I brought, and we'll cook them in the lime juice for about 10 minutes, and we will be having a snack here out on the Ria. So Gary's got the, the fillets all cubed up, and now we're going to, of course, cut open the, the limes. These are real juicy limes. All right, so our fish has cooked in the lime juice. You can see it's already turning a nice white color. Gary's gonna add all of the condiments, the tomatoes, the chili, the cilantro, and the onions. You can also add a few pinches of salt and pepper. So the ceviche is now done. Add a few corn chips, dip it in, and mmm. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, folks, the fresh catch of the day. Every episode will be exciting, tasty. If you get a chance to get down here to the Yucatan of Mexico, you gotta enjoy the seafood because it is everywhere. Restaurants do a fab job creating this stuff and heck, you can come out here and do it yourself. We just showed you how to do it. Thanks for joining us on Yucatan Anglers TV.